Today, Jay Leno is well known for being the guy with the massively valuable car collection. His web show turned YouTube channel has a vast audience and is complemented by on-air segments broadcast on CNBC as well. Leno's work in entertainment gave him the means to amass his collection of classic iron, and his stardom as the host of The Tonight Show gave him a platform from which to transform into a full-time petrol head. My name is Bob Riggle, and I'm 80, <laughs> and I'm an Irwin dude. Being successful in stand-up comedy and leading a successful late-night show have certain monetary advantages, and putting that to good use, Leno's collection is highly enviable. His collection features some of the rarest cars on the planet, along with other more ordinary but still desirable vintage rides, although there is not a single Ferrari included. Many of them are unique and comparable, and previous sales are not always equal comparisons, so there is a bit of guesswork involved in coming up with a dollar amount. That being said, barring the many individual unique custom-built projects in Jay's garage and keeping with original or restored factory-built examples, here are the 10 most valuable vehicles of Jay Leno's collection in Burbank, California. We begin our journey with the 1932 Packard Twin 6, a classic beauty valued at $1.2 million. Many early American car makers sought to bring luxury and refinement to the affluent consumer. While many failed in this attempt, folding barely after getting started, Packard excelled at delivering luxurious automobiles that remained in demand for many years. One of the most sought-after Packards is the Twin 6. The naming of the car comes from its mighty V12 engine. According to How Stuff Works, Packard produced about 35,000 of these cars, and the chief engineer explained that six-cylinder engines were inherently balanced, but in a V12 configuration, the same balance was achieved with lighter parts, providing more horsepower and torque. Jay's 1932 Packard is, according to him, the first classic car he ever bought, and he has owned and driven it regularly since the mid-1980s. It is an older restoration, having been done before he bought it. You can see in an episode of Jay Leno's Garage that it is a fabulously nice example of a classic Packard. Among the many fine features of that car, one of the most pleasing is just how quiet it is. It barely makes a sound as it cruises down the highway and Leno remarks that it is equally comfortable as it is quiet. And he saw a lot of his close friends go up in flames and crash. And he wore those scars. You, you, you could tell that had effect. A convertible version of this car was recently sold at Sotheby's for $1.2 million. Jay's is a hard top, but would likely bring a similar bid. From a classic to a racer, the 1913 Mercer Type 35 J Raceabout, worth $1.5 million, takes our next spot. Mercer Motor Cars is a lesser known American automaker. It was one of the leading race cars of the brass era. Mercer could very well be considered America's first sports car, as it was built to go as fast as possible and had few practical considerations about it, such as rear seats or trunk space. One of Mercer's cars won 47 races in 1911 alone. Mercer is a special automobile company in American history. Jay Leno features his Mercer in an episode of Jay Leno's Garage, showing off the many fascinating quirks and features of the car. According to Jay, Mercer was a dominant manufacturer of the brass era, but did not make it beyond that because of a decision by one of the company owners to return from Europe to the United States aboard a ship called Titanic. Jay's Mercer is a beautiful machine and is in excellent condition, of course. It is said to be capable of 100 miles per hour, an impressive feat at a time when the Model T would struggle to get much past 40. Looking through past auctions of this limited production car show that cars that rest in their completely original condition can fetch more than $2 million. Others that have been restored have gone for around $900,000. Jay's car is certainly a nice example of one with value within that range. We now delve into the realms of modern speed with the 2005 Porsche Carrera GT, a $1.8 million beast. One of the most drool-worthy automobiles of the 21st century is the Porsche Carrera GT. It is said to be the last analog sports car as it comes without any traction control and with a traditional shift lever, foregoing many of the electronic driving aids seen in cars ever since. It is powered by a 5.7-liter V10, covered by plenty of carbon fiber and has a target top. The Carrera GT represents the pinnacle of Porsche engineering and design for the era in which it was produced. Leno states that he is the original owner of his Carrera, 
and that it cost $450,000 when new. Like his other cars, it gets driven on occasion but remains in remarkably excellent condition. Other examples of this car have been selling at record prices lately, including one with an incredibly low 250 miles going for $2 million on Bring a Trailer. Considering Jay drives all of his cars and that he has owned this one for close to two decades, it is safe to assume it has a bit more miles than that. It may not hit the same high mark, but it is still one of the most valuable modern Porsche cars around. Taking our sixth spot, we have the Duesenberg Model J with a staggering amount of $2 million. Some of the most collectible American cars from the 20s and 30s are Duesenbergs. These cars were known for being of the highest quality as well as having loads of power. Wealthy people of fame and stature drove Duesenbergs, and for their substantial amount of money spent, they received a lot of cars. In Jay Leno's garage are a few examples, including a 1931 Model J town car, Classic tells us the Model J is the most well-known of the Duesenbergs. They are outfitted with massive 7.0-liter straight-eight engines produced by Lycoming from Duesenberg Designs. It was common at the time for cars to be produced by a manufacturer and then completed by a coach builder, so many Model Js are unique. Leno's Model J is a town car, which signifies a large car meant to be driven by a chauffeur. The passenger compartment is separated from the driver as in a modern limousine. The fact that cars were coach-built means that many unique models exist, and that translates into a broad spectrum of auction pricing. Some cars have more value than others. Classic lists a range of $500,000 to $3 million, so it is safe to say Jay's town car could fetch at least $2 million. Number six on our list coming in the 1932 Duesenberg SJ Murphy convertible with a $2 million price tag. Leno is a big fan of Duesenberg and owns several of them. The company succumbed to the economic perils of the Great Depression, meaning the number built is relatively low. Not only were they built during a depression, but they were also luxury cars catering to only the most wealthy clients and would have been built in small quantities even in a robust economy. The scarcity and the refinement combined to make them among the most valuable American vehicles ever made. Jay's convertible Duesenberg is a Model SJ is much like his Model J, but adds a supercharger for more power. The Duesenbergs of the 1930s were at the top of the range for sheer power output in their time. According to Motor Authority, the SJ is powered by a huge 420 cubic inch inline eight with twin cams that pushes out 265 horsepower, a phenomenal rating for the time. Luxury cars of the time were bodied by coach builders, and Jay's was built by Walter J. Murphy Coach Builders. Again, the unique nature of these coach built cars makes valuation estimates a bit tricky, but recent sales of similar vehicles put this one easily in the $2 million range. Halfway on our list, we have the $2.5 million 1967 Lamborghini Miura. In 1967, Lamborghini released what would become the most consequential vehicle for the trajectory of high-end auto manufacturing. According to our own history of the car, the Santa Gata company created and built the Miura, which was the first mid-engine sports car ever made for the consumer market, and it set the standard for every supercar to come. But it was not just groundbreaking, it was also a beautifully styled automobile. Penned by famed Bertone designer Marcello Gandini, the Miura turns heads anywhere it is driven and its iconic status has turned it into a most highly coveted vehicle as well as highly valuable one. Leno's Miura is one of the earliest examples of the Miura and also has a peculiar pedigree and story. The original owner was none other than the famous Rat Pack crooner Dean Martin. Leno claims he received it with a non-running engine due to abuse causing a seized engine at the hands of Martin's son. It has since been repaired, but remains otherwise all original and in excellent conditions. The Miura market has matured significantly in recent years, with certain cars selling for as much as $2.5 million. The addition of ownership by not just Jay Leno, but also Dean Martin can add to the value, but it will be a long time before we ever see that final sale. Now let's head over to France, where the $3 million 1931 Bugatti Type 51 exudes elegance and sophistication. Anyone who watches enough of Jay Leno's garage will know that he has a penchant for French vehicles. 
not only is he a fan of French vehicles, but he has also a wealth of information about them and the French designers and engineers that create them. One person whom Jay speaks of quite a bit is Ettore Bugatti, creator of the famed automobile which bears his name. A few of these cars are also in Leno's collection, including a 1931 Type 51, a Grand Prix race car. The Type 51 is built upon the same chassis as Jay's Type 37A, but features an eight-cylinder supercharged engine. According to Hemmings, the Type 51 is propelled by a 138 cubic inch straight eight that makes up to 180 horsepower, which was less than the 250 from the four-cylinder cars. Perhaps this was done to keep stress on the engine low and provide for long life. Type 51 cars are about as rare as they come, and original cars in good condition can bring millions. Jay does not mention it in his video, but his Type 51 appears to be fully restored to like new condition, which may make it less valuable than one in original, unrestored condition that is not perfect. Regardless, recent auctions signal that this car is easily a $3 million machine. A car that needs no introduction, the $20 million 1994 McLaren F1. In today's world, we are spoiled for our choice of insanely rare and powerful cars that are now called hypercars. These are the machines that go beyond the boundaries of the Ferrari and Lamborghini supercars we have had for decades. This trend of niche automakers producing highly limited numbers of cars with astronomical specs and pricing may have begun with McLaren with their 1995 F1. The McLaren F1 is widely considered the best supercar of all time. That may be a bit hyperbolic, but there is at least some merit to the claim. Built in the 1990s to be the best production car possible, the F1 became the speed record holder for nearly a generation. McLaren obsessed over every detail to make a car that produced more than 600 horsepower from its BMW V12, but weighs about the same as a Miata. Car and Driver says it gets to 60 miles per hour in 3.2 seconds and tops out at more than 200. Leno has owned his since new, and he drives it on a semi-regular basis. Like so many other cars in his collection, it will have more miles than pure Garage Queen collector cars than never see any pavement, but it is still among the fastest and most valuable cars ever made. A super low mileage model sold recently for $20 million, setting a new record for the ever appreciating hypercar. Finally, we have reached the most expensive automobile that Jay Leno possesses. The 1934 Duesenberg Walker Coupe with a mind-boggling $20 to $30 million price tag. One fascinating thing about Jay Leno is that he is an avid enthusiast of all cars. He does not appear to prefer a specific era, brand, or type of car, but it is clear he has an affinity for Depression-era luxury cars, such as Duesenbergs. He is fortunate enough to have a few Duesenbergs in his collection, including a one-of-a-kind, one-of-one aerodynamically styled coupe. The 1934 Walker Coupe is the only Duesenberg to have shaped and rounded bodywork representative of the style that dominated the late 30s. Jay's most expensive car started with a unique story that led to it being the most expensive Duesenberg ever built. Custom ordered by Josiah Lilly of Eli Lilly Pharmaceuticals, the Walker Coupe was styled to his demands of a sleek aerodynamic car with a V-shaped windshield, sleek roofline, and headlights that were integrated into the fenders. Jay saved the car from long-term storage in a garage in New York and saved it from rotting away and succumbing to the ravages of time. It was in a sad state of disrepair, but has been brought back to its former glory and received a new life in Jay's garage. Since this is the only car made with these specifications, no auction comparisons are available, but estimates suggest it would easily reach between the 20 to $30 million mark. With a collection worth over $150 million, Jay Leno's garage is a car enthusiast paradise. These vehicles are more than just cars. They're pieces of history, embodiments of the evolution of automotive design and technology. Which of these cars did you find the most interesting? Share your thoughts on the comments down below. While you're at it, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to keep you updated with our future uploads. Until then, I'll catch you on the next one.